Oh well, sayonara, Mirage. It's been really nice knowing you, but that's enough time to mourn. There are no monuments in Las Vegas, and we gotta keep moving forward with the changes. Huh, LND Adventures and uh, Good Times Productions. I got messages from me. I wonder what those mean. Oh, come on, really? It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, looks like there's another big change for Las Vegas around the corner here in 2022. Yes, it looks like we're going to be saying bye-bye to the old Bally's Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas. Yes, Caesars has announced that they'll be rebranding the Bally's Las Vegas into a brand new Binion's Horseshoe on the Las Vegas Strip. You may be familiar with the Horseshoe brand if you're a downtown Las Vegas veteran. They're the team behind Binion's Las Vegas Downtown, originally known as Binion's Horseshoe and Hotel Apache. So we knew that the Bally's brand wasn't going to last forever on the Las Vegas Strip, having been sold by Caesars pretty recently. And admittedly, seeing an old downtown classic on the Strip is pretty refreshing. I doubt that they're going to keep Binion's low rates and low table limits like they do at the Binion's Gambling Hall downtown, but the brand recognition could very easily revitalize the Center Strip property, a property that's been, well, struggling with its image lately. That being said, it's probably not going to be all sunshine and rainbows, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to go over all the changes to Bally's Las Vegas. We'll be investigating the good, the bad, and of course, the ugly. Let's go. Okay, so here are a few good things that I found about the Bally's rebrand into the Horseshoe. The World Series of Poker is coming back to the Vegas Strip. Having been hosted at Rio for almost two decades, it'll be interesting to bring a poker crowd back to Center Strip with a newly remodeled Bally's taking the reins. Binion's originally hosted the World Series of Poker, so it's a return to form in that regard. This also bodes well for poker players visiting the Strip, who have been watching their favorite game lose momentum over the years on the Las Vegas Strip and properties like Planet Hollywood. So that's encouraging. The property is getting a huge renovation, including cleanup of its respectable 68,000 square foot casino floor. This is coming off the property's relatively recent 2018 renovation and should be something big, given the expense. Also, Bally's is gonna have a theme. While the Wild West isn't exactly groundbreaking for Las Vegas, it is cool to see a vaguely themed property back on the Las Vegas Strip. And finally, it looks like the property will be adding new attractions and experiences with the renovation. There's no clear designation of what those may be, but there will be three of them in addition to a few new restaurants and even a brand new marquee out front. So that's something to look forward to. That being said, I have a couple concerns about this Bally's rebrand into the Horseshoe Las Vegas. It is quite possible that Bally's will get more expensive as Horseshoe. If the Park MGM is any indication, when low to mid-level properties get a rebrand into something different, they tend to get a bit pricier. Now, Caesars has largely managed to avoid these issues with properties like the Link, formerly the Quad, and the Imperial Palace, but the opportunity usually comes with the executive squeezing money out of any newly discovered avenue even if it's an old avenue with a new coat of paint. The hotel is going to remain open during the renovations, which is good for business. What's bad for guests is that construction will be going on 24-7 until the project is wrapped up at the end of this year, meaning that Bally's may not be the most comfortable place to stay while they're converting the property, something to keep in mind for your 2022 bookings. And finally, let's get into the downright ugly parts over here. These may be good, may be bad, it's just some kind of weird things I noticed. The multi-million dollar renovation won't affect the rooms. While Bally's has recently refreshed its rooms as recently as 2018 and spent $125 million doing so, they won't be touching them this go around in the conversion to the new horseshoe. So if you didn't like Bally's rooms before, you'll continue not liking them. And if you did like them before, you get to continue enjoying them for 2022 onwards. I guess Blake Shelton is going to have an entertainment venue of some sort called Old Red right up front connected to the Grand Bazaar shops. I'm not too fussed about it either way because I'm not a huge Blake Shelton fan, but I've got nothing against him. So more power to him for getting the partnership with Bally's, now the horseshoe. And also, the timeline of a year is pretty short. Given the current issues with supply chains plaguing most of the industry, including Caesar's own entertainer Adele, 
I wonder if Caesars can pull off the full renovation by the end of the year. Only time will tell. But that's all I have to say about this one. You guys know the drill. I got all my social media accounts in the description box down below so we can keep the conversation going no matter what and keep you updated as the situation develops. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's editorial and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. In the meantime though, what do you guys think of Bally's leaving the Caesars Hotel portfolio of properties? Are you happy to say bye bye Bally's? Or should Benny Binion play horseshoes somewhere else on the Las Vegas Strip? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva, Viva Ace of Vegas.